Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Dreams. I made some homemade GeoGrid and I wanted to share that with everyone to show you how much you can save and it is a really easy project. What we're looking at is a section of the driveway that floods dramatically and you can see all the tire ruts. Even with the French drain, we get stuck in this section every time it rains. So I'm going to try to build a homemade geogrid for way less than what you would imagine. Take a look at how deep that rut is. You see my boot? I mean, it is probably a foot from grade. And that's just you know, over the years, it just keeps sinking and sinking. We need to fix that. A few years ago, I actually had the uh, driveway covered with mulch. And although there's a French drain and there is a catch basin here, see that? It didn't make any difference. I can move the water, but the underground water is the problem. So I've tried everything, gravel, mulch, more dirt. The gravel worked for a little while, but again, it sinks down and moves sideways. It's very hard to keep a stable soil here in Florida. So we're going to try the homemade geogrid and see how well it actually works. So what I'm using is four inch ADS perforated pipe. This is the corrugated pipe. You've seen us use this in many, many jobs for French drains. What we're going to do is cut it off into four inch sections. You can see the perforations in there. And we're going to make this the geocell or the geo grid. This is leftover material from a job. And I think the total we put in is about 18 feet. That's all 18 feet. And we were able to create a stronger geo grid, geo cell grid than I've ever seen before. Watch how easy this really is. You know, using your miter saw, you just go ahead and cut off four inch sections. It only took about 15 minutes to cut all of these little pieces with the miter saw. The current prices of 10 feet of four inch perforated is $15. So, you know, you figure there's $30 here if you had to buy this material for this project. So again, this was 20 feet a four inch perforated pipe. We need that perforation so that the water can move through that gravel, through the pipe and escape. You can also cut this pipe with the hacksaw, uh, reciprocating, battery powered. You can even use a utility knife. This cuts really easy. Take a look. Okay, time for the prep work. We've got to dig this area out so that we can install the geocell, the geogrid, with our fabric and our gravel. We need to dig down about six inches, and I'm going to speed this up and down so it doesn't take very long, but watch how easy this really is to do. This is the hardest part, is the labor of digging out the area that you need to put your geogrid. You know, at 67 years old, and it, this used to be so easy. I could do it all day, but now it takes a little bit longer. Remember I said I had put gravel in here. I also put a geofabric underneath, you know, down there and put the gravel on the top. A little bit tougher to dig that out. Now I'm using the flat shovel just to clear the area. We're almost ready to lay out our fabric and our new geo cells that we made ourselves. So now we need to make a border and this is to hold you know, your geo cell together. So I'm using some plain edging. I made some stakes, pound them in. We're going to kind of, it's not going to be perfectly square, but I'm not too worried about that. Next, we just need to kind of level it out a little bit. And then we'll use the tamper to pack it down tight. So I'm just using a piece of two by four, scraping it around. I put a piece of the pipe in there so we could kind of get the right depth, make sure we're right on line. The last bit of prep work, we just need to grade out that little bit of excess soil. I'll speed it up so it doesn't take too long, but just spread it out. Well, we might pack that down too. To help give it even more stabilization, we're using a geotextile fabric. Notice how I overlap this. This is a piece of sunscreen, sunshade screen, and it's, it's with leftover. So I'm just going to use all the leftover materials. It comes kind of folded up. So you have to unroll it. We're going to cut it and then we'll unfold it and put it back into this little trench that we made. Then we will go ahead and put 
our geo cells that we made and line them up. This is the fun part. Just lay them out, make sure they all touch together. Really a simple project. And you know what? This is super strong. This is such a great project. I mean, it really didn't cost more than $50 for me to do all of this. And all we're doing now is just laying out all of the little pieces that we cut. Remember, this is four inch perforated pipe and it's four inches wide. We're just making sure we put them all together, kind of like a patio, like you're setting the paver stones. You know, they're all kind of intertwined together, making the triangle really simple to do. This pattern will become so strong once we add the gravel. There are a few sections there right at the edge where I had to figure out, you know, how can I get this to fit better? So I'm going to use some yellow pipe. It's cut exactly the same. It's four inch perforated pipe, but we'll be able to squeeze this together and push it into these voids. I think the total time on this project was about maybe four hours altogether. I mean, it didn't take that long to do. The hardest part was digging that trench out. And once that's done, it goes together so quickly. Yeah, we're ready to pour some gravel. You can see what I had to do there. I had to use a little bit of that yellow pipe to squeeze into some of those voids, but no big deal. It works great. So I had like four bags of the uh, drainage stone that had been sitting out in the yard they're pretty rotten. The plastic's pretty rotten, so it's kind of falling apart. But we're going to use those. Remember, I'm trying to use all of the recycled materials so that this project doesn't cost very much at all. Another bag. Just pour it in. I think there's two more bags to put in. And it covered, I mean, that's four bags of gravel, and it covered a quarter of this thing. Not the top coat, but to fill all of the geo cell grids. As I'm pouring this and spreading it just by hand, I can see how tight this is getting. It is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. I mean, it really is. It's probably stronger than the factory bought stuff that we, you would spend so much money on. And we're doing this for free. This has to be one of the best projects for the do-it-yourselfer. I mean, truly save hundreds of dollars and enjoy your work. This is going to work out so good. I'm really blown away at how strong this is, just walking on it. So yeah, you know, this is like 19 or 18 feet of pipe, 20 feet of pipe, cut, it's perforated, four inch perforated. But look at that. I mean, it's gonna work so good. Look at this. No movement at all. And once I put the top coat on here, it'll be even stronger. But look at that. Half the cost of buying that geo grid stuff <laughs> i mean i think this is like twenty dollars altogether homemade geo grid this is less than half the cost of anything out there and it's not hard to do we are using four inch perforated pipe and we just cut off four inch sections i used a little bit of the yellow pipe from a job this is all leftover material, so actually it didn't cost me anything. The only thing I paid for was some of the gravel, because this is leftover from jobs. But look at this. This is something you could easily do yourself. This is a test section, because I wasn't sure. But I'm going to cover it up. We're going to drive over it. It's going to rain this afternoon. Let's take a look. So I had this gravel left over in the trailer, so I backed it around here. And we're just going to dump it all out here, pour it on top of that geo grid, and then we're going to go ahead and smooth it out. And I'm going to run the van over it, let you guys see this close up, how strong this actually is. So this was leftover gravel from a job. Gravel in Florida is pretty expensive, but if you're up north and you've got this sandy loom soil, this is going to work really good, and it's half the cost of traditional geo grid okay let's give this a try okay remember what we've done here 
this was an area that when the van or car would run across this area, it got stuck. So we made our own geogrid for way less than half the cost of anything. <laughs> so we dug that area out. We've got two layers. We've got the geotextile fabric, and this is actually a sunscreen shade. That'll help the water flow down through there and also keep from rising up, you know, underneath of there. Let's go ahead and drive the van and the trailer across this area. You ready? Oh yeah, no movement at all. That is so great. Look at how the weight of this van, this van's like 8,000 pounds and it doesn't even move that gravel at all. This is gonna work so good. I'm really excited to see what it's gonna do. I'm gonna show you a few clips of it running over there lots of times and then we're gonna show you what happens after the rainfall. So I think I ran over this trying to pack it down a little bit more maybe 10 times and wow I am so impressed with this system I mean it works so good and we did it for virtually zero dollars because we used all recycled materials that we had laying around here and put it all together you can do this too this is not hard to do you know what it worked really good and if we look up here you can see it's about to rain so we're going to give it a real test here then after that i'll cut off this excess because uh, it's working good this was just an experiment so i'm going to extend it all the way through the rest of this area and i'm so excited like i said this was homemade geogrid for less than half the cost i think my total materials here actually was just the gravel and that was left over from a job but you know you did pay for that from a previous job so you know there's probably about maybe forty dollars worth of material here amazing remember we've been getting stuck here every time it rains i mean i've tried everything gravel mulch fabric i've tried it all but this is going to work So it actually just rained about an hour ago. You can see some of the other sections of the driveway. See that water? It's actually seeping down into the sand, down into the ground. You can see we probably had about an inch of rain. And I'm gonna drive that over there. We've had enough time for that water to seep down into the soil. Remember what happens is that here in the south, in this sandy loom, everything spreads out. So when you put weight on it, it doesn't just go down, <laughs> it goes out. Here in the turnaround, this is gonna make a big difference, especially when I extend it a little bit more. You can see, this is after the rain. It's not sinking down, it's not moving sideways. That is holding so strong. I'm so impressed with this little system. And again, this is something you can do yourself. Make your own geo cell, your own geo grid, and solve your problems. If you have a driveway or even a low spot in your yard, this will work so good. Okay, I'm pretty convinced this is gonna work great. So here after the rain stops, thunder and lightning, um, I'll go ahead and take care of this. We'll cut that off and we'll start excavating all of this section over here as well as over there in front of the van. So this really was a great project, something that you could easily do yourself and truly save quite a bit of money. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.